Hey YouTubers and RV fans, today we're going to be replacing the Blackwater tank vent cover with the Siphon 360. Um, I got this off of Amazon, I think it was 38 bucks. Um, looks like a pretty neat invention. I've watched a couple YouTube videos on it and people really swear by it. So um, when I purchased my rig, the um, Black Blackwater tank vent was gone and of course I didn't know it until I got up on the roof and so I need to get this thing up there today so hopefully this will go off without a hitch uh, we'll see remember I'm not a handyman so but boy I'm sure learning a lot but I got my partner in crime here hey Al hey welcome to the paddy wagon where we get our fix on <laughs> all right we'll be right back One of the caveats of being an RVer is your ability to get up on the roof. And I have to tell you that I've been pretty fearful about getting up on the roof. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not really afraid of heights or anything. I think maybe it's because I'm a big guy and making sure that this little railing here is going to hold me. Oh, look at my little friend. So today, my, uh, my son and I are going to help me get up on the roof so I can replace this damn vent. So let's see how it goes. And here is the uh, black tank vent. As you can see, the vent itself is um, actually, the, the cover is off and it's been off, but it looks like there's been a pretty good seal around it. That's why I haven't seen any leaks in the rig, thankfully. So we're gonna take this off and we're gonna put the new 360 siphon vent on. So I'm gonna get set up. Okay, so these are the supplies that I'm using. Um, of course, I have the vent itself. And then I've got my mineral spirits uh, I just got the, this from Lowe's it was like nine bucks I uh, got my lap sealant of course uh, my Dicor product lap sealant that was about nine dollars uh, my hacksaw because I got to hack off some of that uh, that uh, old vent top uh, this is for my Dicor got some stuff to help me clean the mess up up here rags scissors putty knife and I got my screwdriver although Al's gonna send me up the uh, electric drill so I know I should have a cordless drill that would be nice but these are the It's nice because you get a good view from up here. All the houses. You know. Get a good view of the surrounding area. Because this is pretty high up. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Mineral Spirits. You did a nice job. It's all nice and cleaned up and ready for the new vent. Okay, I'm gonna take you up close and personal. You can see here that I got all the die core off and the vent itself is uh, cleaned and ready to go. I am gonna keep this membrane on because I like it and I think it's gonna continue to provide good support. I think what I'll do is I'll die core underneath it, slop it down, and then um, do what I need to do. 
see here, this isn't going to sit. So I'm going to have to take off probably that much, that much of the, of the stack pipe. But I have my faithful hacksaw and I can do that. All right. And uh, reuse the existing screws from the old vent cap or purchase similar ones um, and type suitable for the outdoor use. Do not attempt to remove the lid attach unit and do not over tighten screws because this is one unit here. So you won't wanna, you, won't, you don't wanna remove the lid. You can see here that it's got the nice vent here. So I think this will be okay. I think I know what I'm doing. So I guess I wanna, I guess the first thing I want to do though is go ahead and um, and hacksaw this down. So I need to make sure that I'm I've measured properly. And I think I have. So all right, I need some space, so I'm gonna have to turn you off. And I'll be back. Okay, so I cut down the PVC pipe stack to the size. I've had had a couple go arounds with it. Um, because I wanted this to fit flush and now it does if it it's nice and flush and what I've realized is I'm going to go ahead and seal up the old screws because um, the new siphon isn't going to fit into those screws so anyway and then uh, so let's see let's get rid of this stuff this is supposed to fit right in here nice and tightly and it does you want to be careful though not to unloosen the pipe down below in the black water tank so I think you need to stabilize that pretty nicely of course this fits beautiful right in there and it's, I believe it's got a nice seal in there so it looks real good let's see how this goes I guess that goes like this Stick to the bottom of the attachment flange. Doesn't look like it's that easy to do. But because it is circular, probably would be better if I took the paper off, huh? Let's do that. Let's take the damn paper off. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Now, we should be able to do it. Maybe. Oh, this is like putty. Oh no, there goes my directions. <laughs> there goes my directions. That's okay, I never read directions anyway. So, I'm not really good at following directions, unfortunately. Uh, of course, when I'm working, I am, because I have to, but Generally speaking, I like to figure it out on my own, and uh, and that's okay. Now there's a ver there's a there's a overage here. Maybe that's for people like me who screw up, or maybe I should put that around in here. But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it going. And so, all right, that's done. Next is the lap sealant. To be young and agile, up on the roof. Okay, area's all cleaned up. Just wanna make sure I'm... Now the directions tell you to seal these holes, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna just smother this area in lap sealant. Okay, so the screws are in, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and lap seal um, the whole area, and we're gonna call this a day. All right, my Siphon 360 is on, and it's all nice and sealed. 
Um, the job wasn't really too bad. And overall, I think this will uh, this will do really well. Hopefully, uh, maybe I'll put a little bit more lap sealing over there. But other than that, job done, I think. And so, actually, I'm pretty proud of myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe, and um, I'm sure there'll be more to come. Thanks so much.